So here we are in Godot. In this episode I am going to teach you how to make knockback. Nothing fancy, it will not have any acceleration, any friction, it will just be immediate movement. So go to your entity base script, here we need to define two variables. A boolean variable receives knockback and a float variable knockback modifier. The names are pretty straightforward, right? Now, we need to make a separate method for our knockback. Let's name it receive knockback and it will receive two values. One of them vector2 that defines the damage source position and the second will be the received damage. And here we will calculate the knockback and then apply it to our global position. Here it is. First we check if it can be knockbacked, then we calculate the direction based on the direction from the damage source to the position of the entity. We calculate the strength of the knockback and then we multiply these two values to find the vector that can be applied later to the global position. And now we can use it in our herbox area entered method. However, there is a problem. The actual damage is being calculated in the function receive damage, but this function does not have the access to the hitbox, so we will not be able to get damage source position through here. And in herbox area entered method, we don't have the access to the actual damage, only to the full one. So in this case, we can just return the actual damage here. Now, in the herbox area entered, we get this value. So, this method is still being used. It still decreases the HP by this actual damage value. But then it also returns this actual damage and we get it here. And in the end, we call the receive knockback method here. Now we can check it. As you can see, the enemy is moving slightly and, well, I cannot really see if the player is moving. So we might just for a second increase the knockback modifier to 2, let's say. Now, as you can see, we are bouncing a little bit. And the enemy is bouncing even more. Not the fanciest thing, but at least it's working, right? <laughs> so. That was it for this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful and fun, and you liked it, and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ice and until next time. By the way, I also have a Twitter account, so make sure to drop me a follow to see the new releases and the latest news of this channel.